guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would do a bit of a book haul and review. I've gotten a few requests for this because as you might have seen on my Instagram, I have been sharing a bit more frequently what I am reading at the moment. Something I've really been enjoying doing actually. So I'm going to talk through some of the books that I've got here, some that I've already read and what I think about them. Starting with the book that I'm actually reading, which is called What the Internet is Doing to Our Brains, The Shallows. This is by Nicholas Carr and he was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Essentially what this is, is talking about the perils of technology and how this is affect affecting the way that we think, the way that we have an ability to actually focus on anything and I found it really fascinating so far. This was actually a recommendation from a girl that I know. Uh, she actually recommended one of the other books that I'm going to talk about in a second. But I've been really surprised by this because it talks a lot about how our memory works and also the way that our brain forms connections. So if you like nonfiction, you may be really interested in reading this. I'm only about a third of the way through the book so I haven't really reached the point where he talks about how the internet is affecting us but I have found it really fascinating so far. So that that is the book I'm currently reading. The next book that I'm going to read once I finish The Shallows is a recommendation from the same person and it is The Everything Store, Jeff Bezos and The Age of Amazon. You probably didn't notice a bit of a trend but I personally really love non-fiction. I love being able to learn something. I've gotten a little bit into fiction in the last year I would say but primarily I enjoy I guess really learning and adding to my knowledge. So this is basically about Jeff Bezos, how he founded Amazon, the history of the company and how it has really revolutionized the way that we shop, the way that we read. And I would say probably one thing that you may not know, and I learned this from another book that I read a few years ago, but the algorithm that essentially provides us with recommendations on things that we might like Amazon was the first company to introduce that into the shoppers, I guess, um, experience and I'm very much looking forward to diving into that one. Then the next book is a recommendation that I got from so many of you on some of my reading posts on Instagram and it is The Tattooist of Auschwitz. This is by Heather Morris and it's based on a true story. I've been advised that this is a really sad story actually and I have read another book about Auschwitz about a Jewish doctor who had to perform really unspeakable things on some of the prisoners or you know some of the people who were captured and held in these concentration camps and I just found that so harrowing, very very sad. Um, I have been to Dachau when I went to Germany and it was just, um, oh, it's giving me goosebumps actually thinking about it. I just still can't believe that something like that ever happened. But um, yeah, basically this is a story of a tattooist who had to mark all of the prisoners for survival. So um, I think this is going to be a sad one. I have, I don't know what it is, but I seem to cry a lot even when I'm reading. So um, I'm very emotional when it comes to reading books. I imagine I'm going to be in tears reading that. Um, so I've been putting off a little bit. Then the other book that I've got here is Rise and Resist, How to Change the World. This is by Claire Press and I have such a big girl crush on her. She's the sustainability editor at large at Vogue Australia and I really admire her. She has a podcast which I've talked about a few times and I'm going to link that down in the description box below just because I think it is such an incredible resource if you want to learn a little bit more about sustainable fashion or just about you know the environmental impact of fashion or even just hear from designers and, and the people who are in the industry. It's very thought-provoking, very intelligent. Um, basically, I think this book is really relevant, especially if um, sustainability and environmental and social justice is something that you're interested in. Those are all topics that she touches upon and she kind of does a lot of interviews with passionate change makers who have set out to kind of change uh, attitudes and create a different culture so that we can create a more sustainable tomorrow. So really looking forward to diving into that one. Oh wait, I've got another one here. Um, this one is Broken Angels by Richard Morgan. Luke gave me this one. This is the second book in the Also Carbon series. So I finished the other one, I want to say a few months ago, and I was waiting for Luke to make his way through this one so he could give it to me. And I have to say, I really enjoy the books. I think that they might be maybe more enjoyable than watching the series, just because you get a little bit more insight into their minds and... I think having the series helps to really visualize everything, but I love science fiction as well, so that's another one on my reading list. But I just have two books here that I thought I would talk about that I have read recently. The first one is Becoming by Michelle Obama. I have lost the sleeve. 
I don't mind, but uh, I devoured this book. I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, I think I've now got a big girl crush on Michelle Obama, not that I didn't have one before, but it was really interesting to learn a little bit more about her personal background. And she's a very accomplished woman in her own right. I think what I really loved about the book is that she opened up about her experiences throughout the whole campaign, how it affected them as a family, and I think really humanized them. It was nice to kind of read this and get to see the more, I guess, personal side of Michelle and Barack as well. I love the story about how they met and how they formed their relationship and bond. I mean, I just thought that was really sweet. But yeah, it's just great. Um, obviously, she's gone on to create some really incredible programs and I think she's a really inspiring woman. So that was a very good read. And then I also read the whole Crazy Rich Asians series. So there's three books. I think this one here might be the second one. I gave the first one away to a friend. It's sort of, I like to gift books to people so that they can read them and so someone else can enjoy them after I've finished them. This one's China Rich Girlfriend. Basically, if you want something that's very easy to read that you can kind of chew through, I would kind of call this like the fast food of books. Very, very easy to flip through. It's sort of a page turner, um, even though it's got really small text. It doesn't take long to get through. I have to say, I do think that the story was really, really predictable. I kind of even figured just from the title what was going to happen in this book as I started reading through. Some things sort of surprised me, but yeah, it's a little bit far-fetched. Definitely does feel a little bit like Gossip Girl. So if you love that sort of thing, then you will enjoy the series if you haven't read it already. I still need to watch the movie. The whole reason why I read the books was because my sister said I needed to watch the movie. So yeah, I definitely need to watch the movie. I did re-watch the trailer after finishing the first book, and I have to say, I don't really feel that they they did Rachel's character justice in the film. She didn't come across the same way that she did in the book. I definitely prefer Kevin Kwan's original treatment of the character from the book. So that's a little bit of an insight into what I am reading, what I'm planning to read, and also some of the books that I've read recently. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are reading anything in particular right now, if there's anything you would recommend, please let me know in the comment section below because I'm kind of on the hunt. I am trying to read two books a month if I can just because I find it's a really good way to unwind. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. See you then. Bye.